I spent my entire childhood just drawing and making models. And my mother always complained that I used the ruler far too much. So I think that was the uh, first sign that uh, maybe I was destined to, to go into architecture. My name is Jack Kobayashi, and I'm an architect and urban planner based in Whitehorse, Yukon. We are modernists at heart, and I think that's why we look to Scandinavia for, for many of our references in design. It was quite a new thing for Whitehorse. It was quite a modern ideology that was brought to the North. The North is, is a harsh place, it's a cold place. We spend at least 80% of our time in buildings. Buildings contribute about 30% uh, of the greenhouse gases in the world. Northern buildings contribute far more than their share of that. So we always think of energy conservation and sustainability in the fundamentals. How a building is placed on a site, you know, is it uh, sheltered from the wind, well placed in terms of draining water away naturally, is it sheltered from the sun at, uh, at certain times of the year? Just good, basic, fundamental building design. It really is incumbent upon us as Northern architects to do better. I always think back at the, the sundial as this perfect functional tool. It doesn't require electricity. It doesn't require gasoline or fossil fuels. It just sits there and tells time. And it's this sort of beautiful concept in terms of something that can provide function and can do it in a passive way. The best way to look at how to design architecture is to open up a car door and look inside. There's an airspace inside the door and it just creates a different pressure inside the cavity of the door than exists outside the door when you're driving in rain and there's very rarely any water getting inside a car. In the old days, we used to try and keep out the water from the outside. It actually doesn't seem like such a big deal, but what happens here is that it frees up the car designer to create a very, very elegant exterior door. And it's something that architects have now learned from the car industry and have now incorporated this into all their building envelopes. Problem solving is a very big part of being an architect. The key is to have this perfect harmonization of the arts and science. When we think about good design, we think of consideration. That is a key aspect to sustainability. It's putting thought into something before you create it.